course, the favourite song. Yep, all about the knife, knife, knife for this first map in the best of three. Second map will be Dust 2, and then Cash will be the deciding map if we so need it. So this could definitely go to a third map. I know that the betting is fairly heavily in favour of NIP, but I don't know. I don't think you can count out LDLC. They're a very solid team. They are. Yeah, we haven't even kind of talked about them at all. We haven't really got on, on, on that kind of uh, train of thought. This is basically... A crazily skilled team, honestly. Of course, we uh, we saw Titan kind of disband. So Existence and Kenny S now the only r original Titan members on Titan. And of course, uh, Smith's NBK. And Shocks used to be in Titan as well. But Smith's and NBK from the most recent iteration of Titan, they've come over to LDLC. And of course, we've now got Epsilon and Titan. So on the back of Titan splitting up, we've got three amazing French teams. And this is one of them. And do you know what? I might even go out on a limb and say, possibly, this might be the strongest French team now. I know that's a big call, but for me, this team is very, very strong. And we are going to be going live. So once again, a big, big welcome. This is, as we've said, the Hitbox CS Arena Championship. First map, D Inferno. Let's go. Absolutely. For $10,000, there's still plenty more action to come up. This is just the very first map of the first game of the entire tournament. But here we go. NIP going to be starting on Terrorist side. LDLC on CT, three of which are actually going to be pushing down Banana. That's NBK, Kiyoshima, and Smiths. Shoxi and Messiah, who I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Happy, right? Unless I'm that's going happy, crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, happy. happy are going to be situated on A. So this 3-2 split. Freiburg and exist are going to be pushing up banana they get the first frag looking for the second as well kiyoshima has been heavily tagged he will get dropped and exist gets himself a double so those three men i was talking about a b have been torn to shreds without any casualties on the side of nip get right gets himself another and now shoxy is going to be all that remains he's a fantastic player but in 1v5 don't fancy his chances he gets shut down in a clean sweep first round very very confident start from the swedes that was a strange one, you know, because LDLC set up to uh, to make, you know, damn sure that B was secure. It was locked down. They sent three members over there, and it was Smiths that was kind of dancing around the car. And I think it was Exist, uh, it was Exist, who started getting the frags pushed up. And then, you know, they all peaked one by one. They were taken out. So a bit of a misplay from LDLC. They didn't really make the crossfire work for them. And now we're going to see Nip with the guns. And you would expect, because of that, you would expect them to, uh, to, of course, get the second round. But in this day and age, man, it's not always that simple. Yeah, that's the key thing, is you never quite know what to expect. We have seen some changes to the CZ getting moved into the fourth pistol slot to replace Tech 9 or, of course, the 5.7. Kiyoshima opting for the 5.7 still. And he does get himself a, a little pop there onto Fafloran, who gets tagged down to 15. Already getting dropped low. There's Get Right with the first frag. Gets the opening pick on Smith, who was stood on Arches. And A still has two players on it, but with weapons, you'd fancy NIP again to secure this round fairly comfortably. Can Kiyoshima and Shoxi pull off a huge play, though? Only time will tell, Jono. It's not looking likely, though. Well, they, uh, they're taking it very slowly and controlled, aren't they, here? They don't want to take any risks at all, Nip. They've got the guns and they've got the man to the good, you know? So they're going to just take their time. So we're going to. We're going to see an arch push. They've got the uh, the entrance already. A lot of ground already been made up. And they're, they're wrapping the site. And uh, Shoxi is the man in pit. He's going to see it them all. But no frags going their way whatsoever. As uh, he drops in pit. And of course his comrades have already fallen on the site. So now just NBK. And uh, I would probably recommend just trying to get an exit frag or two. Which is, is what he's going to do. So basically try and make it expensive. Steal a gun. And uh, that will save him buying, buying anything next round. So... Easier said than done, though. He's got five members of Nip still alive, and they will probably hunt him. So, uh, yep, two rounds on the ball for Nip, and a very good start. Yep, MBK maybe could get a frag or two. I mean, Forrest and Fafloran both on sub-20 health, but neither of them looking too interested in pushing CT spawn, which is where MBK is currently situated. In fact, he goes into library to give it a double check, and nobody will fall. So, NIP... They have yet to lose a single player going into the third round. And again, oh, yeah. this is going to be another eco, of course, for LDLC. You want to stabilize the ship once we get into that third round. But again, we saw Kiyoshima ping for Flaren in the head with the 5-7. Nearly took him down. Maybe they can go one or two better this time around. 
Yeah, well, they'll be hoping so. Like you said, they haven't got a single frag, which is uh, rarely seen, actually. So a phenomenal start from Nip. Yeah, they, they, they don't seem to be uh, taking any risks at all. In the, and it's, we've only seen two rounds, but the way they're playing is almost tentative, but in a way that it's so solid because they're taking their time and they're staying together as a unit. And classically, that's how you want to play anti-ecos. So maybe it isn't that too. Maybe it isn't that representative of how they're going to play the buy rounds against the, against the guns. But it's a good sign for them, seeing them play so well together in this early stage. And yeah, <laughs> LDLC yet to get a frag, so it certainly worked very well for them. Kiyoshima's going to be naded here. Not really much damage done yet. Messiah, who is happy, is in an interesting spot. They've actually left apartments, so they're putting a lot of emphasis on middle. Um, and this might not work out for them. We'll have to see. Forrest gets the first, pins around wildly, sees another, and look <laughs> at that team kill. It's a bit of a massacre here, but the frags are actually going the way of LDLC. A lot of damage dealt there onto Nip here, Mez. Um, small margins again, LDLC doing a lot of damage, but it's not quite worked out for them. And Nip now are going to be rotating around, so the man on uh, the big bomb site is NBK. Let's see what he can do. Oh man, that team kill could come back to haunt uh, NIP, but they still have the player advantage, albeit with a flower on five. Get right on 25. NBK's at the back of the site on new boxes but he will not be able to open his account in this game. He falls down happy through the smoke though on get right. Nice little frag. Bomb's been planted. And LDLC, if they can get themselves for Flaren, this has been a very worthwhile eco round. Even if they were to lose it, exist. New boxes, takes down Kiyoshima. Last bullet through the wall. He was very low on hit points. It's all on happy right now. He's got the P250. He spotted exist, but unfortunately he's been encircled. And there we go, terrorists do win. Albeit with two casualties, one of which was a team kill. So far from perfect round for the Swedes. And now we're going to get the buy-up in effect from LDLC. Yeah, exists typing there. Look, wrong. Oh, it's wrong settings. Oh, I thought it was just being silly. Okay, that's slightly embarrassing. Uh, okay, so they yeah they've got the team kill and it should be minus three hundred after the update. Okay, so they're complaining that the uh, when you when you kill a teammate you get uh, penalised as it were and you you get a lot of money taken away from you. So like you say, that could come back to haunt them. Even if it is the wrong settings, um, I guess they're just going to have to play with it. So, first buy round, both teams. This is an important one. LDLC do want to get going. They want to get on the board. They've only had one frag, even though two members died. So, uh, pretty bad start from them. And, of course, on the other side, a phenomenal start from the Swedes. So, it all comes down to this now. In, well, in the early stages. Anyway, big, big round for both teams. Um, no warps being picked up, actually, which is interesting. You might, might have expected Smiths to orb, but... Uh, in Infer on Inferno, I can see that it's um, probably not always crucial. When you've got a player like Kenny S, you can kind of make it work for them, or JW, aggressively playing with the AWP, then surely, yeah, it's worth going for. But with uh, an AWP like Smith, it's more, more of a defensive AWP, and Inferno is quite a small, tight-knit map, so AWPs are not always as important. But uh, what's happening here? They're just taking their time, so they're allowing me to waffle on about AWPs. And uh, it looks to me that they're going to be pushing A, and here comes the push towards Quad. Let's see how LDLC are going to... Gonna fare up to the challenge in this one. Yep, Shoxy in pit has opened up fire with that M4 Asimov. Does get himself a frag. Kyoshima as well. And they really did need this round. It was, uh, I don't want to say slipping away, it's still early days, but it wasn't looking too great. But for Flowering and Get Right, come right back, get themselves two frags. Warner Peace, happy now in libraries, picked up one. Gonna be spraying with the M4. Nearly connects the dots for the second frag. It's now down to a 2v2. Bomb will be planted. Get right in the graveyard. Gets dropped from NBK. Living up to his name. And there's Happy to pick up the pieces. It could have been a lot simpler. But the important point is LDLC got the all-important round victory under their belts. And now they're going to be looking to push forward into the next round. Look at that. Not that great eco on a couple of the players. Forest notably 4.1k. But they will be able to buy back up. No problems in this round. Yeah, plenty of money. I mean, they've had some... Uh... Very, very clean rounds, haven't they, up to this point? So they've they've accumulated quite a bank because they haven't been dying, so they haven't been rebuying. So they'll be they'll be bought up again, and they're probably yeah, I would, I would imagine even if they lose this one, they're going to be able to buy up once more after that. But like you say, an important thing for LDLC was to get rolling, get the ball rolling, get going. They've done that. They've got that round. It got a bit a uh, bit scary there actually, didn't it? Get right, got a couple of frags, and it it was a lot closer than I was expecting it to, with the the first two frags going the way of the uh, the French team. But uh, here we are into the next round. The MBK early exchanges on to Freiburg, who is so dangerous on that banana area. When he gets the, the entry frags, he is uh, probably the best in the world at entry fragging banana. <laughs> it's a, a small acquire thing, but he, he sure is. So he's certainly to be feared, but happy through the smoke takes him out. So there's no entry fragging for him this round. He's going to be uh, going down without really seeing anybody. So a bit of an unfortunate start and uh, a five plays four situation. 
You would certainly expect LDLC to convert this one. You would. It would uh, be a bit of a ball drop situation if they weren't to convert this round from this point. But, you know, when you look at across NIP's team, any of them are capable of stepping up a few gears and really pushing through onto A. They do have the player advantage right now. It will be a three on four situation. Happy starting to snake his way around from CT spawn. So maybe they can pince around and really close in and uh, choke out NIP. And that looks to be what's happening right now. The Flaren comes out second best against Shoxy, who was in the pit, and now it's all on Forrest and Get Right. Get Right spotted the bomb on the floor, does get the first frag, couple players are tagged up. Happy, though, does answer back NBK from behind from Arches. And indeed, LDLC will secure the round with just one player lost. Good round for them. Yeah, a lot more convincing, wasn't it? They uh, did that one very nicely indeed. Just the one member dropping, like you said. So they're going to have to be rebuying one rifle, and that's it. And now they're the ones that are starting to accumulate a little bit of a bank. But uh, actually, Nip have gone for the eco. So, I mean, they probably would have had enough to force it up, but it wouldn't have been a full buy. And considering it's only round six, I suppose, they don't want to take any undue risks. And they want to just get a good bank again. Fully equip themselves and, uh, you know, think about the next round instead of this one so much. But actually, having said that, of course, pistols are so strong these days. So, expect the unexpected. Shoxy dueling it out there in the apartments gets tagged to 70. But uh, courtesy of his helmet, <laughs> it's not so bad. He could have been a lot worse had he not bought a helmet. Freiburg spotted MBK. It's getting a bit hairy, actually. MBK nearly got taken out by Freiburg. Now he's going to be challenged by a second. He's caught out in the open, gets taken down. Exist and Freiburg, a lovely combination from them. Caught uh, Nathan MVK completely off guard there. He drops, now five plays four. Make that four and four. Shocks, he brings it back to all even with a nice headshot. Onto the main man, onto get right. So that's certainly a good frag going their way. And now Forrest with the M4 with uh, a couple of other pistols to back him up. They're going to be pushing into B. Kirishima's opened up proceedings over there, though, taking down one. And if LDLC don't drop any more members, they can count this round as success. But uh, if Nip can get a few more, then it's last. <laughs> there you go. LDLC, good round from them, only dropping one member in the end. So we're all tied at 3 all. Best timing. Just as you're saying, if they can get a few more, <laughs> the grenade lands plumb on his head. <laughs> he just dies. But... As you said, the buyout back in effect now from NIP. Last time these teams clashed, albeit under different circumstances, 16-5 was the scoreline to the Swedes. So LDLC with a bit of a point to prove here. After going 3-0 down after the eco round and after the pistol round, they have somewhat brought this one back. All to play for. Early days in this first round. Out of potential three in this $10,000 tournament. CS Arena Championship. Get right. It's going to be peaking in apps. Neat shock seat. Does tang him up a, a couple times through the wall, so it doesn't do too much damage. Just 15 health worth. And again, this slow, steady approach from NIP, which has proved to be pretty useful in the first rounds when they were up against Eco. And hasn't been the most effective thing, Jono, in these next three. So, LDLC, all they have to do, really, is sit in and wait. It's The onus is on NIP to make the moves. Yeah, absolutely, and, and that's kind of what they're doing. They are playing very passively, LDLC, and that's why we're seeing... Um, a lot of time being used in these rounds as Nip just aim to get ground and you know they're doing it again They're pushing up slowly into middle uh, Smith takes down two though courtesy of a lovely boost They would not check that angle every day and so they failed to see him But a one fall on banana is gonna bring it back to a three on two now can get right find this frag No, he can't Kiyoshima fully secures the advantage and it's a uh, well It's all on exist here in a clutch situation. It's not going to go too well for him as Shoxi finds him uh, with his pants down Nice positioning catches him off guard and uh, four to three now. So LDLC take the lead for the first time They do indeed that's four rounds back to back and the economy on NIP They could force up a buy if they so chose but nope They're gonna be ecoing instead which is a smarter choice. It's still early days Jono if they can get themselves a couple round wins here and there they can definitely pull this one back and inferno typically you'd expect cts to get nine or so rounds maybe a little bit more so nip any rounds will be very very welcome for them freiburg is pushing fast he gets taken down from happy again this happy mbk combo holding out strong rest of the team from nip is pushing towards a and it looks like it could be quite difficult to take because shock Kiyoshima and Smiths, they have this on lock. 
They do, don't they? They've looked very good with the guns, actually. The first round was a bit of a dodgy one, but since then, they've looked very, very strong. Like I say, a passive style from them, setting up crossfires. And the NIP, they've got the mid control nearly every single round, but it's, it's what they do after that. They, they, you know, pushing into the sites has been the trouble for them. So they're getting the good ground, but they're not really making anything making anything of it. And exactly the same situation here. They've got middle, but, uh, you know, LDLC have closed the doors onto the site. They're not really giving them any space after middle. As Messiah pushes round, takes down one. Smith and shot he also getting frags. Can Forrest get a frag? <laughs> yes, he can. Lovely headshot. Can he get a second? No, he can't. So he was just trying to make it as expensive as possible. He got one, which is uh, fairly good. But <laughs> Shoxy's going to be able to buy no problem at all. Because they've won five rounds in a row now. So their money's is going just swimmingly. And actually, he's gone for the big green. He's going, he's going for the orb. Let's see where he's going to use it. Because he's been playing apartments. Um, so let's see if he's actually going to go towards middle. Or he's going to go and orb in apps. Interesting. Also, Fifth Laren with the orb. So we're, we're going to see an orb draw here. Yeah, he kind of had a quick peek at mid, and he has indeed moved into apps right now, Shoxy. So, pretty interesting stuff, and he's peaked at second mid and gets the frag on get right. So, very aggressive play, paying out dividends for Shoxy. That's going to give them the play advantage on the CT side. That is always a good thing. And NIP, once again, backs against the wall. This would be six consecutive rounds for the Frenchman. Now, I don't want to call it too yet early yet that NIP is struggling, but... Their attack these last few rounds is definitely not been as efficient as you'd expect from them. Yeah, and the point is they haven't really changed anything up, have they? They've had uh, five unsuccessful rounds now, and yet they are, they're still doing the kind of standard setups. They're just slowly gaining ground rather than trying to push somewhere quickly or doing a set strat with smokes and flashes, etc. I mean, that's kind of what they're doing, but they're just doing it so slowly, and... Uh, just hasn't been working so you would expect yeah let's try something different lads but you know they're not doing that yet as uh, Forrest and Smith both get a frag each so of course they're on opposing teams so it's gonna be uh, well after Kirishima getting a lovely shot onto the AWP of 5th Lara not making that work for them for him sorry is uh, 4 plays 2 now and uh, once again LDLC just you know just sitting back that passive CT style they're just picking them off and Nip haven't really been able to get anywhere actually the bomb's gone through B so MBK is aware of this fact, but uh, the rotate is going to have to come in from behind. Oh, sorry, I didn't see the clock. 10 seconds. It's going to be very tricky for Nip. As long as MBK can stop the plant, which he will with ease, it's going to be another round on the ball for LDLC. And Nathan even gets the second frag. So uh, nicely done from him. And once again, nicely done from LDLC. But for me, mate, it's like I say, it's on Nip here. They need to change something up. It's not LDLC playing amazing. It's Nip not changing what they're doing. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It's, it's easy enough for CTs if... It's going to be very similar attacks each round. You can kind of put yourself in place. And as I said, the onus is on NIP as a T side to really aggress on the bomb sites and try and make something happen. Shoxy with the AWP has quick peek mid and gets the tag on Exist. Cat-like reactions from him. The only reason Exist is still alive is because he legged him there. And maybe even been through the wall as well. Happy though does take down Freiburg. He was peeking up Banana. So they do get their man after all and Exist heavily tagged as well. So... Five versus four. This would be the seventh consecutive round for the Frenchman. And NIP looking for a very similar attack once again. Stacking three in apps. Exist and Freiburg would have been in Banana, but of course Freiburg is six foot under for the rest of this round. And now they're looking to push A slowly with a minute to go. There's three players from LDLC in Banana though, and they're going to start to push down. NBK taking point, coming down very quickly. He's getting so much information right now, and he will be calling that to Smith and Kiyoshima. Kiyoshima picks himself up too. And this is looking bad for an IP. It's a joy to watch, honestly. The way they're playing this, the CTs. Actually, I said it's not LDLC being amazing, but they are playing very, very well. And uh, anyway, five versus two situation. I'll get back onto that point. Get right, gets Shoxy. So that brings it back a little bit closer, but Smith is there. He's going to say, nope, you're not getting anything done here. Takes him out. And once again, we find exist in a one versus X situation with it actually being four this time around. And if you take note at the top, there's a clock and it's <laughs> fast and running out. So he's not going to get anything done. Happy's going to take him out. And yeah, really nicely, uh, like nicely done round from LDLC. They kind of took a risk and they pushed Banana. And yeah, sure, they weren't, um, there wasn't a, a, a T there. So that didn't work out. But that en enabled them to rotate very quickly. And the boost as well just worked an absolute treat, didn't it? Kirishima 
picking off two. And once again, for me, Nip just taking their time too much. They were very predictable in that, you know. They left this so late that when uh, LDLC had gone to Banana and found out there was nobody there, it was 100% going to have to be an A push. So they just rotated straight round and they were able to defend without uh, too many difficulties. As Shoxy opens up proceedings once again with uh, an orb shot. So... The once again thing being, uh, you know, the entry frag going the way of the CTs here. And since uh, losing those three rounds and, the, you know, the first buy round, which was a bit close, they have looked very, very solid. Yeah, almost unbreakable. And it's that key thing about information, isn't it? You know, going down banana could call to the rest of their team. You know, yeah, Kiyoshima pulled out a beautiful double, that double tap. And again, NIP, minute left in almost identical positions to the last few rounds here. LDLC. They're going to be expecting a rush at some point, but they're just going to keep their positions for now. Smith is rotating round B. Here we go again. NBK and Happy pushing down Banana, getting information. Unbeknownst to him, though, Freiburg and Exist are coming up, and they do get the entry frag. So now Happy and Smiths with plenty of work up against them. Still two players in the form of a Flower and Forest are on A. And Smith comes down, gets himself one, very nearly connects the dots. Three on three, Freiburg's all by his lonesome. For Flaren, he's going to push through as Shoxy gets himself a kill. Now, NIP in a two versus three. That was a crazy shot. Here we go. For Flaren, might be able to get that frag. He did, finally. Happy's got Freiburg in the meantime, though. So that just means for Flaren is on his lonesome. He's got to find two here with 10 seconds. And that's a, not an easy ask, obviously. So Happy's going to be dancing around the, uh, the bowels. Very nicely done from him. Gets the frag as well. And, um... Oh, Metas didn't, I, I know P just looked so lost then, you know, in the middle, they just, it was so obvious to me, they didn't have a plan, Forrest pushed out middle on his own, trying to get a frag or get some information or whatever, you know, there was a couple of people on Banana just feeling it out, but they hadn't got control of it, so they were being tentative over there, they were just sat around middle, they looked very, very lost in that round, and it's not a good sign, they don't look like they're being led well, they don't look like they've got organisation, and like I said a few rounds ago, I would like to see a you know, change of pace, maybe a rush somewhere or a fast split. Uh, but they, they still haven't done that. And you know, testament to LDLC being very, very strong with their passive setups. They're doing great, don't get me wrong. But Nip still haven't changed things up. So for me, as it was a few rounds ago, it's still on them. And Shucks is going to be caught out with a grenade. And Forrest finally gets that frag. Kiyoshima tagged him up, though. Now he's going to get a lot of action, actually. He's going to be pushed down from all number of angles. And he doesn't get the frag on Get Right. I thought he had that one. Three on three here. The health very much with LDLC. And they've still got the guns. So, actually, Get Right gets another frag. And gets another Get Right single-handedly getting into this bomb site. And it's going to get this bomb down. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one meta. This could be the round. Um... That they finally, you know, they win another, but it's not down to tactics, it's down to get right, just stepping up huge. But anyway, one on one, who's gonna get it? Well, this is real smart play from get right. He's actually taking the bomb and he's going back towards B, but NBK spider senses are tingling. And he's like, hold on, I'm not totally bought on this one. He's hiding a library though. Smoke's gone down from get right, he's pushing through it, and he will be going for that plant as well. And he will get the plant. So this is a great round from NIP. Remember, it wasn't eco. And that mistake from Shoxy pulling out his grenade at the worst possible time could really come back to haunt them. And MBK is going to get spotted from Get Right. Does not get tagged though. It's going to be pushing through from Generators. Does get the kill. Get Right so close to clutching that round out. It would have been beautiful. But still, some hammers have just been knocked into the Frenchman. That was an eco round. They very, very nearly lost. And MBK just coming to the rescue when it counted. He's actually bottom fragging for his team. Yeah, so the fact that he can still step up in a one-on-one -on -one just shows his class. You know, he hasn't really been getting that much action in this half yet. Um, some hammers, yes, but I mean, for me, that round was just more a case of get right going huge. And uh, the LDLC are going to be bought up again, no problem. Uh, with four Molotovs, actually, look at that. Actually, they're lacking some grenades, so they're not fully bought up. So, yeah, there's definitely that factor. They've, they've made it very expensive, NIP. But, um, you know, they still won it, and they've still had... What is it now? Six in a row. And just because Shoxy got caught out, I think, was, you know, set the wheels in motion for NIP to get that round. And here they are again, just taking it slowly. So for me, they have to get this round to uh, to make to make that one significant. Otherwise, you know, it's just uh, a drop in the ocean, as you say. But here comes the push. It's going to be the A bomb site once again. They're not taking it as slowly. This is uh, nice to see. They're, they're pushing in rather quickly. But they've been halted with some Molotovs. Forrest is going to open up proceedings. And look at that. They drop like fries. Forrest and Freiburg both combining. And that's pretty much all of the A defense gone down. All but one. And the one is Shoxy in pit. 
gets himself too, certainly being a nuisance. I think they must have uh, overlooked P or something. He must have just hit. I don't know. But uh, a one of three now. Can NBK step up again? It's going to be a little bit harder this time round. And Exist picks off his head. Lovely shot. And as I was saying, NIP needed to win that round to uh, make the last one count. And they did. So 9-4. With a very real possibility of this being, you know, still a reasonable half. They could get the last two and that would be actually a good score for them. So, LDLC, all of a sudden, they need to win this one. Yeah, very true. Six rounds on T-side is very respectable. It's not necessarily the greatest, but you can still do something with that. You know, you win the pistol round, you convert the next two and you're all even at 9-9. Nine, nine. But, can they get the last two rounds? That is the key point here. Will they take some satisfaction and confidence from that faster push into a and rinse and repeat exist has been heavily tagged up right off the beginning of the round so he's down to 14 bomb carrier as well that could end up pushing them back a little bit here and you can see two players back towards t side of the t steps forest he's going to be hiding in second mid with the flower and get right moving into apps so it's not going to be another fast push. They're going to play it slow and steady again. You kind of understand when Exist has been tagged that heavily right at the beginning, though. And now, again, the Swedes looking to crack the shell of the Frenchman. It's not been so easy for them thus far. As we said, if they can take it 9-6, they'll be relatively happy with that. But LDLC, they'll have their eyes set on 11 rounds. They want the double digits here, Jono. And the way they've been playing so far, you couldn't bet against them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we'll have to see if NMP can uh, convert that round one into a consecutive one. Um, they will have money to buy even if they don't, so they've got that going for them. But yeah, LDLC most certainly will want the last two remaining rounds, especially after winning so many in a row. To uh, Just to drop three in a row would be, you know, it'd be a, a kind of a bad result for them. But anyway, here comes the push. It's going to be towards B. They're taking their time again. The rotate's already on. This is what I'm talking about. Actually, the time I didn't even notice. Ten seconds on the clock is just not enough time. They're not Navi. <laughs> They're not going to be able to do this. No way, Jose. Look at that easy round for LDLC. And it was simply because Nip messed around for too long. They didn't get anywhere in time. They didn't get any map control. And then, you know, they just, you know, the call was, oh, okay, we're just going to have to rush B. And that's, that's not going to work out, you know. You, you're going to have to want to go B a lot earlier in the round and, you know, do it well rather than just bum rushing in with 10 seconds remaining. That's never going to work out. So a, another really bad round from Nip. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, and LDLC locking down the B bomb site. So 10 4. And uh, both both sides fully equipped again. So uh, let's see if Nip can actually bring it 10 5, which is still an alright T side score. Bearing in mind if they get the pistol, you know, they'll be on 8, which is which is pretty good. So the Smith opens up um, 5 versus 4. So the advantage, oh, very much going in the way of the Frenchman with Shoxy taking down Get Right. So 5 plays 3 here. A minute on the clock. Let's see what Nip are going to do. Mm, this is going to be tough, though. This is going to be really tough. Kyoshima on top of the board <laughs> is going to be trying to shoot across. We've seen him here before. He got a double frag last time. Smith comes in, though, and gets the double. And it's all on Exist. He falls down. And that's going to be an 11-4 halftime scoreline. And this is not what I think a lot of people were expecting from NIP. Last time they played this, albeit again in different circumstances, 16-5 to NIP. This time around, complete role reversal. Yeah, but I, I kind of said at the beginning, I, I don't really think that result was um, representative. <laughs> I'm trying to be a bit smug, aren't I? But I, I did actually say Nip would win it, so uh, that was my prediction as well. But yeah, a really strong performance actually from LDLC. And, um, you know, a lot of credit where it's due because they're such a new team. And to see them working so well as a unit, you know, as a group, as pairs, as, as a three on the A-bomb site. You know, the quad apps holders, tremendous. The B-bomb site holders, really good. They played Arch quite passively, so that's a different matter. But, uh, yeah, some really good CT play from them. And, uh, you know, it's a good sign because they're a fairly new team. And... I would expect them certainly to become a, a top team, very much so. This is a very, very talented team, but they uh, still got a long way to go, and I'm sure they know that. You know, it's early days for them, but to see them get 11 rounds against Nip on CT uh, Inferno is, is certainly a good sign for them in the early stages. So yeah, uh, we're going to have a, a slight pause, I think, because uh, two members have dropped. So. Yep. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious, and I'll be back before you know it. So. While we're on this break, guys, feel free to ping some questions across to myself and Jono. We'll be happy to answer them because obviously we're not entirely sure how long this uh, this pause is going to take between the halves. And this is a best of three, so plenty more CSGO action to come up tonight from us. In two days' time, we have our next game, and then we're going to be getting this tournament well underway. So it's at Metis TV for my Twitter if you want to send me some questions, or at Jono Whiting if you want to send my lovely co-caster Jono some questions 
and we'll try and get on them for you as another player has just reconnected. So fingers crossed the NIP will be good to go in the next couple of minutes. Yeah. Should we talk a little bit about the groups? I mean, there was a lot of uh, yeah. there was a bit of an uproar about this group. This is Group D, okay? And we, we tried to um, reorganize the groups because for those of you that are aware, this group is, is the group of death, honestly. We've got these two teams, and then you've got Navi and MTW. Um, you know, no disrespect to MT, MTW. I think they're a good team. They're a, they're a lot of potential. Uh, but they're not really on the same level as the other three. You've got LDLC, NIP, and Navi all in one group. I mean... It is really the group of death, and uh, so this I expect to be the most competitive group. So this this match does actually matter in terms of this group. Mm, yeah, that's true. There are some huge teams in this group. Uh, also, I should mention, you know, I, I talked about there's another game in two days. That's going to be Virtus Pro up against Mouse. So that's another great game coming up, John. There's going to be so yeah. many of them throughout there this is tournament. There is so many. Uh, like... Speaking of VP and Mouse, you've got my XMG and also Copenhagen Wolves mix in their group. That's Group A. Yeah, uh, yeah. But that is, it's kind of a more balanced group, isn't it? If you know what I mean. You've kind of got the um, the overwhelming favourite, Virtus Pro, and then you've got the Mouse Sports, who are, uh, you know, they're a good team. And it's online, so they, they're very, very strong online. So, But with Group D, you've got three like really strong teams. So, yeah, big, big uh, game, important one. If Nip don't win this, then they, they, you know, they've got to beat Navi. Uh, simple as that. So anyway, we are live into the uh, first round of the second half. LDLC going very quickly up, up second mid. Um, and they've been spotted out. So I think that's going to that's gonna slow them down rather than rushing. As Nip would probably have rotated. So yes, uh, they're going to slow it down. They put a sp spanner in the works, in it? It really looked like they were going to rush up. But they got spotted, so they just completely uh, put a halt to it. But uh, if LDLC, by the way, pick up this round, expect them to get to at least 13, uh, maybe even 14. So Nip really do need to win this one. Oh, exactly. This is a pressure cooker situation. Backs definitely against the wall. If NIP were to win this, they've, they've got plenty of chances to pull this game back. But as you say, if LDLC were to claim this, you'd expect unless the eco round paid out huge for NIP that it, you would be looking at a 13-14 kind of scoreline. Freiburg has caught himself a play. In fact, that's going to be four players from LDLC all pushing in and force. MBK taking point. You've got Smith, Shoxi, and Kiyoshima. But as the smokes come down, they will be backing on away. Get right gets first blood in this round. Four HP to his name, though. Happy has been dropped. He has on a 15-8 scoreline for his team, so that's a significant pickup. Get right, gets his second with the 4 HP. There's Forrest. This is more like the NAP that we know. Forrest picks up his last. That will be 11-5 and a very comfortable round in the end for NIP. Big, big plays from Get Right. Wow, yes. Big, big, big plays. And that was incredible. He had like 6 HP as well. I think that really made the difference, actually. Um, and I would say comfortable, man. I, absolutely not. I was about to praise LDLC's uh, strategy there. They faked B so well. They got the, the Get Right on Arch to rotate over. So there was only two members there defending A. But, you know, that was more than enough because they hit their shots and they got all the headshots. And yeah, in the end, a great round from them. So just a case of hitting their shots with the pistols. So they do get the first round of this second half. And that's that's a big deal. It, it, you know, it means a few rounds. It doesn't just mean that one round. So you expect them to make the scoreline closer rather than LDLC almost running away with it. And early exchange is very much going the way of Nip here. Um, apart from actually Forest and Exist very, very low. Flaren got very tagged there as well. The health is, is not looking great on NRP's side. And Happy pushes up aggressively. And uh, makes Viflaren pay for being out there on his own. And look at this health. This is more than doable. If they can gain a bit of ground and uh, make the right call of going, like where they should go, but perhaps B, um, they could do this. But get right, as I was talking, did find another frag. So it's gonna make it's gonna make things a lot more tricky now for LDLC. But if they can get one or two more, they've made it very expensive, and they can count it a great success. Yeah, that is a good point. You know, at this point, it's about. Economic damage and also the potential round win. I'll take either. Kyoshima's caught out. Get right with his pants down around his ankles. And he does make him pay. So, Exist 1 HP. Forest 9. They can still win this round. 20 seconds, though. Time itself is becoming a burden. It's becoming an enemy. But they do have the guns in the right place. Freiburg has been called to him. This is going to be an A rush. And he's pushing round. There gets the kill. Kyoshima. Exist will get the next one though. Freiburg shooting from library side. He's on 100. And he does get dinked there. But will get the frag. And NIP just about hold on to that anti-eco. Although they were made to pay. Severely. Yeah. They. That's a very expensive round for them. They're going to have to be rebuying now. 
And you see their money, you know, it's not going to grow at all. They're going to have to rebuy. And I think Fifth Iron's actually going for just a pistol. So he's he's saving up for an orb, I presume. Um, and that means just four guns rather than five. Um, so, yeah, a great round from LDLC, all things considered. That's really what you want from a, an eco. Of course you want to win it, but realistically, if you can do some good economical damage, you should be happy with this. Forrest opens things up with two great kills. Can he find the third? Yes, he will. Eco bashing at its finest. Lovely stuff from Forrest. Let's see if we can go for, go for the ace. Uh, LDLC not really making this round as successful. That's his fourth. He could do it here. Exist is actually going to see Messiah. So, he steals, he steals the ace away from his teammate, but uh, a flawless round from NIP. That's a lot more like it. That's going to stable stabilize their money. That's going to let it grow a little bit. And uh, Fiflaren isn't going for an orb, so I don't know why he could that round. Interesting. But uh, nevertheless, buy round for both teams. It's a big one. Scumbag exists. Steal on the way of the ace. <laughs> They're not going to be bothered. They needed that round, and they have brought it back to just a four-round deficit. And on CT side, you can get that momentum underway. Bomb was dropped at spawn. Happy has to go back and pick that one up for his team. And we are seeing a very aggressive banana push here. Private gets one. We'll get shut down instantly afterwards. There's get right though. With a FAMAS, he gets taken out. And look at the difference already between LDLC and NIP. LDLC aggressively pushing up banana. Get two frags. And now that has forced Exist to move on around. Four players have dropped two apiece. So we are still an all even encounter. Make that the equality being flushed down the toilet from Forrest. He gets himself the kill on NBK. Happy is going to spot himself Forrest afterwards. So all back to even once again. It's the 2 on 2 tag team matchup. Exist and for Flower on one side. Happy and Smith on the other. They are top fragging are Happy and Smiths. For their side, 34 frags between them. 33, I should say, between them. They are top fragging by a considerable margin. So all the LC have the players in form left alive. But... Can Exist go huge on B? He's going to be in a 1v2 situation in the next 5 or 10 seconds. For Flaren is still a locks on A. And here we go. Smoke's been planted. Still hasn't been called. For Flaren still on A. Starting to move around right now. Can Exist go massive? He's going to get the first frag. Just 9 HP remaining. He gets taken down from Smiths. And now 1v1. So tense. So, so tense. Sorry, I'm zoned into the game here. One on one. Fifth Flower versus Smiths. Exist kind of did his job. Getting the one is going to, as I say, bring it to a one on one rather than uh, just dropping and getting nothing. So he did his job. He got his frag. Now it's all on Fifth Flower. And the bomb is down. So that means he's going to have, uh, I think, 45 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Smiths. What's he going to do? Fifth Flower's going to bounce off the nade. That's going to give away his position. That means Smiths just has to hide. Gets tagged down so low. And he's using the smoke against him. Fifth Flower. And is aware of that though and he spins around takes his head off fantastic play there from fifth Lauren, and he's going to get the round for his team so clutch play at its finest there but it's just a one-on-one -on -one, but still very important round one there for nip and it well got pretty close we can say that and uh, as a result ldlc's money isn't great but they got the bomb down and uh, you know they did severe economical damage for nip as well so it's well worth buying and that's what they're going to be doing here and uh, ldlc yet to win a terrorist round so you know good stuff from nrp so far on the ct side mm, that was a huge round for nrp though desperately needed that and there was for flaren to step up when needed he is bottom fragging 5 and 13 so really putting on the uh the carry pants when needed for his team 11 8 the score line NIP were 11-4 behind on uh, half time. So they have made somewhat of a comeback here. shoxy has been dropped from for Flaren, who was on quad on short. And again, that is going to put LDLC in a sticky situation. It is definitely looking a bit precarious for them. Happy now pushing down. He's going to find for Flaren. Does pre fire that spot. But Flaren's been there a couple of times. So it was uh, definitely wise to pre fire that. And now NIP are going to dig in deep, Jono. 50 seconds to go. LDLC starting to look to make moves onto A. Yeah, they've gone around mid now. Just blowing my nose, I'm sorry. They're pushing through Arch. MEK might spot. And there's two members actually. Exist has backed off off the site. Actually, they've got four on A. So this is very much the wrong decision from LDLC. Uh, but good stuff from NIP. Happy's going to open things up for them a little bit, though. Gets a frag, but Forrest is still there in pit. He's going to take him out. For his uh, negligence, for failing to look towards pit. <laughs> so he's going to pay for that. And now they're going to be pushing around to B. It's going to be a two-on-one scenario if they, uh, if they can push around quickly. And Freiburg is going to be the one. Does some great damage. And he does get the frag. He's going to back on out. And now 
Kiyoshima in a very, very tight position. Five seconds on the board. It's virtually impossible now. Freiburg's playing very well indeed. He's going to dance around the uh, the wall and he even gets the frag. So NIP still with a flawless. Yeah, yeah, they haven't got a yeah, they haven't got a, a team round yet. Mm. They are, they are yep. So yeah, flawless man. I'd be. That's five rounds on the bounce now for the Swedes, and that is going to be another eco in from the Frenchman. So you'd expect them to take it into a, a sixth round right now. NIP on the CT side. And a couple of uh, that team who were in a bit of a slumber before are starting to awaken from that. And this is the perfect time to do so. Now DLC, are they going to try an aggressive push on Eco? Looks like we threw Banana. Actually waiting there. There's been a couple times when Get Right and Freiburg have had a quick peek down. And we're waiting, but weren't able to catch any fish with that bait. However, Get Right and Freiburg have stayed into position. Smoke comes down. LDLC are going to wait for this one to clear. Throw their own smokes over, and this will indeed be a rush. Here we go. Set piece has landed. It's going to be a two versus five, although Exist is moving around very quickly from CT side. Gets the spray down through the smoke. Gets the headshot. And NBK. There's Kiyoshiba, though, with the CZ coming in, looking for a second frag. Runs out the bullets at the worst possible time. And Get Right will punish two. Gets Smiths and Kiyoshima. He's looking for his third. He will get the third. And a good hold from NIP, just losing the one player. It was an eco round, though, so we need to put things into perspective. But that is going to be the sixth round on the bounce for NIP on CT side. Yeah, just one round deficit now. They've really clawed this one back on the, uh, the back of the pistol round. Everyone, every single round, as we keep saying, and now 10-11. So LDLC are now the ones that uh, should be should be under fire from us. We should be cr criticizing their lack of variance. They haven't really changed up their style all too much either. They haven't had any success yet. So I mean, now's the time. But they uh, they're going to be taking it slowly again, trying to just gain map control. Boris is going to spot Shoxy, but he's doing the wise thing. He's going to back. Oh no, he doesn't want to give away his frag early, so that would be disastrous. You never want to give away the first frag on a CT side. Um, so he's not going to do that. He's going to back on our Freiburg, exchange him with Kishima through the smoke. A little bit of damage dealt, but nothing really to uh, to speak of. And uh, yeah, LDLC just really taking their time. But as I say, they, they haven't won a round yet, and it's starting, to, uh, it's starting to look a bit bleak for them, isn't it? NRP winning every single round. You know, they win this one, and we're all square. And uh, you'd, you'd bet your bottom dollar that NIP would just carry on winning rounds. Um, and LDLC need five. So, you know, I think they're in quite a tough position now, having having lost the pistol round. Yeah, completely agree with you. And it's that key word that we mentioned time and time again, momentum. The momentum is completely on NIP side. First half was, it was a hairy one for them, you know. It wasn't going too well. As we said, they're becoming a bit predictable. They're getting get stuck in, in their ways. Uh, but... This half is the complete role reversing. A couple of players left for a little bit. Maybe got some respite. Here we go with the push, though. Hold that thought. Shoxy just about survives by the skin of his teeth. He will come back and get the return frag, though. And the second LDLC exploding into this round. But get right. He's been wow. the man. And he's just got himself another double. That's going to turn the round back into their favor, surely, with seven seconds to go. It's all on Shoxy. He pushes. And get right goes on to his 23rd frag. Carrying NIP, I've got to say. He has been the talisman. The guy who's been standing tall. And again, the double kill coming out from him to take it 11-11. Wow, what round. What a round. First of all, Shoxy as well on my camera. Um, amazing play for him. He got two in Arch. Um, he, kind of, he kind of knew there might be one in Library. So he was, he was about to run out without checking the angle. And then he stopped himself. Poked out. He got a one tap. But look at this. 5-3 split. Straight down middle. They're going to sandwich a terrace here. Shoxy gets one. It's been a two for two. Shoxy gets another though. This might have been a bad idea from NIP. I, I don't know why they would do that. Things were going fine for them. They've won every single CT round. You know, there's no, there's no point changing it up. You're winning for God's sake. And now, get right. Drops as well. That Shoxy with his third. Yes, they were in weird positions, but he most certainly hit the shots. And I was just praising him. And by the way, I didn't praise Get Right. I was just about to say, of course, Get Right stepped up huge in that round. But not so much in this one. And now, <coughs> God, excuse me, three on one. Exist is the last man remaining. I'm dying here a little bit. But let's see if Exist is going to die uh, without getting anything done. The, the clock is running away from him. And I think he's just going to go for exit. So it's an interesting decision. They've got a lot of money. Um, I guess he wants to just make it expensive for LDLC. So 12th round on the board for them now. They finally get a terrorist round. Oh, Exist is going to be disappointed with that. Should have got the frag onto Happy. He does get NBK. And indeed will secure 
at least one exit frag, so making it as expensive as possible. When you look at LDLC's economy, you can see why. They aren't going to be able to buy back up again, but they're not going to have full grenades. They're not going to have everything at their disposal that they'd want going into these next few rounds. So we're just going to have to see how this one plays out for them. They have regained the lead. That's their first round on T side. 11-4, if you have just joined us, was the halftime scoreline to LDLC, who of course started on CT. And this is looking like it could be an aggressive push on towards A. NBK's going in very aggressively. He was thinking about going through. Yeah. And then the smoke landed and he just kind of double backed on himself. And yeah, NIP now should be able to lock this one down. Three players were on the B side there. So if they'd have yeah. pushed, they'd have been in really good shape. I know, that's why I'm, I'm gasping. That was the best possible thing LDLC could have done. But that smoke was absolutely perfect from NIP. It just stopped them completely. Had they pushed in, you would have expected... Um, to uh, you know, absolutely, they probably would have got that round just on the on the on the back of that push. So instead, uh, NIP are going to rotate a man off banana. Sorry, two because it was three, weren't there? So they're going to leave one now defending the uh, the B area banana. I think it's probably Freiburg usually is. Um, although don't quote me on that, but uh, that's going to allow them to have a very solid hold on A. You know, and uh, let's see where LDLC are going to go. Actually, I think they might be going towards banana. Freiburg's in a pretty precarious position. If he gets more than one, I'll be impressed. He doesn't, so one for one, probably not good enough here. As Happy doesn't get the frag on Fliff Laren. Are you joking me? He should have got that frag every day of the week, but he doesn't somehow. Oh, he's, he's, he's saying lag, so fair enough. Bad lag time for him. But LDLC now with the bomb down. They've uh, they've got the afterland scenario. Can Fliff Laren take down Shoxy on Banana? No, he can't. Shoxy's oh. going to peek out the perfect time. And now we're three on three. Yeah, just as he pulled his molly out. There's a shot right in the back, and here we go. NIP looking to retake. MBK gets the headshot onto Forrest. Two players remaining. Make that one. Make that zero. LDLC clean it up. They take a two-round advantage. When it rains, it pours. They didn't get a single round on T-side, and now suddenly two back-to-back. -back. And NIP, oh, it's, it's not looking good. Look at their economy. Yeah, the money. Look at that. It's, uh, it's all gone pear-shaped, hasn't it? On the, on, the, on the back of that bad decision, I think. I <laughs> Um, I think it exists. I th it used to be the in-game game leader. Sorry, I haven't really followed the scene that much in the, in the last few weeks. I, I, it's probably still the in-game leader, although don't quote me on that. But the in-game leader of NIP, who I think is exist, will certainly be kicking himself. Uh, because that push down middle did not work out for them. And since then, they've lost another round. Or is it two? Uh, well, basically, yeah, LDRC with a couple of rounds back-to-back -back now, having won that one. And the force buy from Nip is actually a bit of a gamble in my mind, because... If they lose this, their money is going to be atrocious. It's not going to be bad. It's going to be awful. Um, and so, they, you know, their money is going to be really screwed. And LDLC will be on 14 as NBK opens up onto Fifth Laren. And they look like a different team, don't they? It looks like they've woken up. They're getting the entries. They're making the great decisions. And another great decision. Another bad one from NIP. They've rotated a man, rotated a man off Banana. Freiburg's going to be here alone. He's going to be pushed down once again. I'll be impressed if he gets more than one in this situation. Get right, though. Food the smoke. Gets himself one. Freiburg's got one. Doesn't get any more. So a three-on-two scenario is now what we're seeing. 30 seconds on the clock as well. So plenty of time. As Shoxy takes the head of Exist. And it's looking all of a sudden pretty bad for Nip here. Yeah, especially as Forrest has been found out by Happy. He will get dropped. 14 to 11. And you called it before. If they force by up and lose the round... They're in dire, dire straits. And what do they do here? Do they force up again, John, or do they play the no, potential draw? Uh, I mean, this... yeah, they've got to. They've got to. They've got like average two point five. It's just not yeah. good enough to buy up at all. If they, if they were really confident with their, you know, the, the the ability of their pistol work, it might be worth it. But the thing is, if they buy up now, they're not going to be able to be buying uh, the round after again. So that would be that would be match point. Um, so it's just too much of a risk. So they're going to have to work with fifteen here. And here comes the push again. Shoxy opening them up with ease and now three on five you'd expect them to get match point here so yeah nip are gonna have to get four in a row matters that's pretty much the situation that we're currently sat in unless robo forest or get right can go massive we've seen get right go monumental already go herculean but it doesn't look likely he's only got himself a p250 he's got five players to find and frag he's been taken down and it's now all on freiburg currently at 12 and 17 on his score line and he's just in library. He's waiting for those exit frags, looking to try and punish LDLC. If they take a step wrong here, he's going to get taken out 15-11. And as he called, 
And I P are gonna have to win the four rounds just to take it into overtime. Oh, I keep I keep casting my mind back to that the push down down mid because that's where it's, it all started. It all went yeah. bad from them since then. You know they were winning every single round convincingly as well. They were they were just hitting their shots. They were holding perfectly, making the right calls. It was totally going their way. And I, in fact, I think that was the round when they made the push. I was what I was saying is LDLC are in a tough position here, and uh, they did that push didn't work out. And here we are, LDLC on match point. So Nip with their backs very much against the wall. Can they do it? If there was a team in the world that could do a, a situation like this, it would be Nip. But they're going to have to take it round for round. And, you know, this could be, it could be all over right here. Well, they say some people are more deadly when their back's against the wall. Let's see if NIP are just those type. And there's no doubt about it here, Jono. They are going to be feeling the pressure. Yes, they've been in this situation plenty of times. Yes, they're all seasoned veteran professional gamers. But still, this is going to have to sting. 56 seconds to go on the timer. Nobody has fallen as of yet. NIP could potentially go to either side, but it's looking like they may be opting for an A, although Kiyoshima with the bomb was around Banana, and now they're going back to A. 43 seconds for Flower and Forest exist all on the bomb site for NIP, and LDLC are starting to move in. Let's see if they can get this first frag. The first frag could be oh so crucial. Exist is peaking. He spotted a couple players. He's got one. Can he connect the dots? Yes, he can. Huge plays from Exist. Shoxy did get a frag back on Forest. So it's not going to be a clean sweep here from NIP, but for Flower, he's going to get one, get himself two, potentially a third. He pulls out his pistol, will get Kiyoshima. The bombs does not get planted, shooting him in his right arm, but doesn't matter. He gets the frag anyway. And NIP, they have saved that first round. Three more to go, though. What happened there with the bomb planter? That was a bit silly, <laughs> but they uh, they didn't get the bomb down. You're right. So that's gonna that's gonna mean less money for them, and so. LDLC still with match points, still just a, a, you know, one bad move from NIP and we're going to be going on to Dust 2 with LDLC taking the lead in overall score. But NIP still in this, they've got three rounds now to uh, get us to that that brilliant thing that is overtime, which I would very much be, be up for. Smith is going to push through, he's going to spot out Freiburg, doing a lot of damage, finally gets the frag. Freiburg, uh, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of use of, of these uh, cement structures in the last few rounds, uh, but four plays, five, and get right's health, man. It's, it's, it's only on nine. This could be the round once mm. again. That's the thing. They're gonna have to dig deep here. They've got the two on two split from NIP. Get right and exist on B. The flower and forest, the FNF combo, gonna be sat on A. Look at this, LDLC. They are training their way down banana. Single file conga lining it up. Molly has landed, though. That's going to keep them at bay for a few more seconds. But there's the smoke, and here comes the rush. Shoxy taking point. Can get right go phenomenally huge. No, he can't. Two quick fire frags go in from LDLC. 20 seconds to go on the timer. Happy's got himself one. It's all on four as a 1v5. I'd love to see him pull this one off. I don't see it happening. He's got the first. He's going to have to connect the next four dots, though. NBK behind the fountain is going to be spraying him down. He's already been tagged up to 50, and this is allowing Happy to rotate around the back. He should get this frag any second now. There we go. 16-12, that was MIP's map, and they've lost it in this best of three. Wow, great stuff from LDLC. Uh